hello my beautiful aries and welcome to your love reading today we're going to see what is coming towards you in love thank you all so much for your likes shares comments and subscribes i really appreciate you guys if any of you would like to book a personal reading to purchase anything or to make a donation to my channel all info on how to do so is in the description box below um please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa okay so only take what resonates feel free to switch the genders switch the roles do what you got to do and leave the rest okay so this is for my beautiful aries Let's just see what is coming towards you in love. Oh, okay. We have the sweetest taboo. It says forbidden love, diversity, and sexuality. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the romance angels, which says, um, keep his arrow, love struck, an ideal partner. So I feel like there's somebody that you're in love with that you feel like you shouldn't be in love with you feel like there's something very taboo about this person about this relationship this could be something to do with your sexuality it could be same sex it does not have to be that's not for everybody okay but there's something about um there's something i, I just heard sweet and sinister there's something very sweet about this connection but there's also something very like mm, you know that maybe other people may not approve of okay or maybe it's you maybe you kind of feel wrong for the way that you feel about someone could be a family thing okay could be dealing with the leo because they just got this card it says the water that runs deep pampering intense emotions and transparency yeah you want to be with someone you feel very deeply for somebody here okay or somebody feels very deeply for you but there's like a difference between you and this person or you could be battling your sexuality you could be dealing with the leo they got the same thing um, the he said, she said, interference, blockage, and hearsay. So, but it, I'm seeing your energy a bit different because theirs, they had like spell and energy work going on. With yours, I feel like there is a blockage here because um, you are afraid of what people are going to say about your connection or about how you feel about someone. I feel like you're having feelings about either the same sex or somebody who's different to you. This could be like culture, um race um or maybe somebody does something that's really taboo for work like for example tarot like you like someone who reads tarot but everybody else in your community thinks it's like the devil's work or some shit there's something taboo and there's like there's gossip going around and you feel like that that's a blockage in the, this connection you feel like this is why you can't be with someone or maybe it's something that you're into or vice versa okay but let's see where this is going. So if this is not how you're feeling, this is how somebody's feeling around you. But there is deep, intense emotions. But I feel like somebody needs to be transparent here. Okay, and just explain how they feel. Sorry, my um my head is itching and I don't want to like scratch it. It will mess it up. Oh, okay. Apologies, guys. So you're on somebody's mind. I'm trying to see if I can see a rainbow because it was raining and now the sun is out okay oh my god my head is itching there is definitely interference because with leo's reading i got attacked by a bee that i couldn't see now in your reading my head is just randomly itching okay so please clarify the sweetest taboo this is for my beautiful um aries third party sitch okay so third party situation yeah there is definitely interference here. So this, you may want to watch the Leo reading because it could be something along the lines because she looks very angry in the back. These two are like happy with each other and someone in the back is like mad as fuck. So yeah, but again, the third party, it doesn't have to be like a lover or something. It could just be like, you know, people that just don't like. It's, it's normally um somebody who's like not in your life or like what you're doing has got nothing to do with them. But yet they 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 seem to like, you know what I mean? They're making it like um they're making your love life their business, okay? Even if it's an ex, it's like if I, if if you're my ex, what I do with whomever is none of your business. Know what I mean? But there is definitely a third party situation here. There is a a a, a person that is causing interference because they don't want you to be with someone, or this is you. Yeah, change. Somebody doesn't want you to change or somebody wants to change wants to change your mind or maybe you have changed or you've changed your preference. Okay, somebody's angry about that. Yeah, single, sexy and successful. Yeah. Somebody wants you to stay single because I feel like you're very attractive. 
So someone is threatened by you, basically. Now, this could be how you're feeling. You may feel very, you know, successful. You may feel like, you know what, when I'm single, I'm more free. There's no interference. Like, no one's, like, controlling me or whatnot. So this could be you. Maybe you're being transparent with someone. You're just like, listen, I don't want to be with you because, you know, you can't accept our relationship or you can't accept your emotions or you can't accept your, um, um, you know, situation. So... I'll, I'll be fine divine and aligned by myself okay but i feel like what it is is somebody wants you to stay single you're very sexy you get a lot of attention so somebody's trying to create some type of um interference maybe somebody doesn't get attention maybe somebody doesn't you know nobody looks at them but everybody looks at you but you be maybe thinking as well like i'm so attractive apparently you know i'm single i'm successful so why am i not in a relationship like what's going on or why is it every time i speak to people it kind of you know breaks down someone's doing that twin flame is at the bottom of the deck you could be in a twin flame connection where one person is dead and the other person is alive you know so that could be very tumultuous or you are supposed to be with a twin flame and somebody doesn't want that I feel like it's about who the person is. Someone is very threatened by your connection, your relationship, or who you are attracted to. I feel like the person that you are attracted to, or this is you, someone just looks fine as fuck here, and someone's just mad. Like, that's what it is. Somebody is mad. Okay. So one second. For my beautiful Aries, strength could be a Leo. There's a strong connection that you have. Somebody ignites your flame, ignites your passion with the twin flame energy. Um, somebody also could be trying to resist how they feel. Because like I said, there's a there's another party. It's either someone's listening to someone else and their opinion. Somebody's worried about being judged. Or someone, there is a third party that is causing an interference in your connection. Okay? Justice at the bottom of the deck. Don't worry though. Karma is coming, darling. Could be dealing with a Libra. Because somebody is perfect for you. They're just right. But yeah, somebody's trying to create confusion. Could be a Scorpio. The four of pentacles could be a cappuccino. Yeah, somebody doesn't... Somebody... I'm hearing like, I want you to stay put. So someone can't let go of you. I feel like it's an ex. Or somebody doesn't... Somebody wants stagnation. Somebody just let you like, you know... It's like... The four of pentacles is someone who doesn't move. They don't budge. They hold on to something. They're very insecure. That's why they hold on tight to things. So I feel like you make somebody feel insecure. Because you are not. You are independent. You are an independent sign. So this is your energy. Someone is very insecure without you. So they don't want you to be with anyone else, basically. And then we have the page of pentacles. You may get proof of this. I'm also getting somebody may be very sincere. They may like give you a sincere apology or something like that. Somebody also may not be able to let you go and they're trying to resist how they feel. So this could be somebody is their own blockage. The third party could be the, the goblins in someone's head, okay? This could go many different ways. Just take what you feel um, resonates for you, Aries. I want to share my life with you. So someone wants to be with you. So you could just be dealing with somebody who's very possessive. Well, like I said, there's people around you that don't want you and this person to be together, okay? And I want to take you away. So I feel like somebody wants to just run away with you from all of this or somebody wants to take you away from whoever this angry, disgruntled person is and I want to get to know you. Yeah, you're trying to get to know someone. You want to be with someone or you want to explore your feelings, but I don't know, whatever side you're on, but somebody here doesn't want even someone doesn't want you to be successful and single or somebody wants you to stay single because they are 
insecure. Okay, I was going to say that I hope it's not no magic shit, but I think it is. Okay, we have magic. And then we have fire. That's your energy. So, yeah, there is a spark. So you 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 have this passion for someone. Someone has this passion for you. There is magic and electric between you and someone, but somebody could be doing something to try and stop that from happening. So you may definitely want to watch the Leo reading, okay? Um, it's almost like someone's paying someone here. Sorry, I feel like my phone is ringing. But, um... You're going to discover whatever this blockage is, okay? Um, but yeah, that's all I can actually know. Hold on, let me just... I forgot about these cards. So I can hear something. And I'm like, what is that? I feel oh so tired, oh so knackered. My body needs rest. I'm feeling quite shattered. And I feel oh so brave, oh so strong. I remain undefeatable. Nothing can go wrong. Yeah. I feel like there's a bond that cannot be broken between you and someone. You're undefeated. This is why this person is mad. Yeah, because someone's getting tired of doing this magic. It's draining them. Now, you may also feel really drained and tired out of nowhere and you haven't even done anything. Someone's doing energy work on you. Whether you believe in that stuff or not, it's happening, okay? But thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If it resonated, you know, let me know in the comments, like, share, and subscribe. Bye.